Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine and we are in our 12 days of Christmas series. So today's project is going to be this Christmas photo ornament. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this photo ornament. So this is what I printed the top layer on. I did 1 8 inch white plywood. I'll link in the description box below on where I purchased this white plywood. It made it a lot easier. It would be very difficult to paint this after you cut it. So I would recommend either getting a decorative plywood that you like, that's a solid color, preferably, so that everything shows the detail. Or you can just use regular wood and not paint it at all, it's up to you. But I just wanted to use white and I used a white plywood for that. So I think that came out really nice. It engraved the tree, the 2022, um, the name up here, and then I had some score marks as well. So the second layer is going to be, uh, well actually it's a little bit tricky so I'm going to show you how I'm going to assemble it. So this is the first layer. Now I'm going to turn it around and I have t the next two layers as 1 8 inch birch plywood and I actually printed these with 3M adhesive on the back. Here is my 3M sheet just to give you an idea what that looks like. I use 300 LSE, that's just what I prefer. But you can get this on Amazon or there's other uh, suppliers that sell this as well. So I recommend using this instead of glue because it's a lot easier and it'll save you a lot of time and hassle. So I printed these on the 3M with on the back so that I don't have to use glue. So I'm going to take peel this off and I'm going to adhere it to the front piece. And then I'm also going to do the second layer because you're going to need this for your photo. So um, again, this has 3M on it, so I'm going to uh, adhere it to this next piece. So now you have kind of a double layer in there. And what's gonna go inside of that is the acrylic. So this is my clear acrylic right here, and it's gonna fit snugly right inside there. And then once that's done, I will show you what the final piece looks like, the back of it. And honestly, um, I did make a little bit of a mistake, but this is why we're doing this, so you can learn from me. Um, I would really, if you're gonna use 3M, I would highly recommend putting the 3M on the back of this first piece, just because when you go to adhere everything, the acrylic, it would just sit nicely right inside there. You don't have to glue the acrylic to it, so there would be no mess. So now I'm gonna have to use this uh, Gorilla Super Glue and I'm gonna be very careful about it because I don't want the super glue seeping out through the edges to show on the front. So I recommend using 3M for the front piece as well. I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling this. I'll show you in just a second what it looks like. Okay, for the final reveal, I have everything glued on and the acrylic is in. So as you can see, you'll be able to fit the picture right inside here, just cut it to size and slip it right on inside. Position it how you want. So it's gonna look something like that. And then for the easy part, you can take this back piece and just snap it right into place. It fits perfectly. It, it is a little snug, so you might have to snap it, but that's what the point is so it doesn't fall out. So then you can just take the photo in and out by just removing this back piece. And it's all ready to go. I hope you enjoyed that file. If you are interested in making this yourself, I'll have the link in the description box below on where you can purchase it. If you're also interested in buying your own Glowforge machine to make similar things like this, I'll have the link in the description box below on where you can get up to $500 off on your own machine. Plus I would get credits too, which my family and I truly appreciate. If you have any questions, reach out to me and stay tuned for the next video.